Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to do a very different thing like okay not a different thing but a very interesting thing we are going to do so what we are going to do is we are trying to build an SQL simple SQL project okay so totally taking help of OpenAI okay so what you can do is you can either take help of BARD which I am going to use today or you can also use GPT okay so try to use any one of these uh, online platforms to build your uh, database you can see so first of all we are trying to create a simple database using BARD and then we are heading over to MySQL workbench where we, we will try to solve some queries okay and then oh, what we are going to do is or you are going to do is a uh, comment down like how we can make this project like this is at the beginner stage okay so we are going to do it till advanced stage so what you i want you people to do is comment down the queries which we can do in the future okay after going through these queries which we are going to do okay so the plan is like today we'll be solving basic queries and uh, if you people don't comment it out then i will be coming with uh, coming up with some intermediate queries and some advanced queries on this database itself okay so this project may have three parts okay so if you people are like interested in this or if you give a good response then i will definitely do part two and part three else still i will do it okay so uh, let's go ahead with creating the database okay so what prompt you need to give here is create me a mysql workbench employee database okay so the database uh, is the employee database like this database is available on like github like everywhere okay but the thing is like we are making use of open here okay so that is the only difference and we are doing it from the scratch that means we are starting the project from the scratch okay so we are giving a prompt here so cre create me a mysql workbench employee database with different tables like then departments details salary job details country and insert some 25 records here okay so excuse me so what this uh, prompt did is so it did not add 25 records in every table but it did give the structure okay so it did gives the schema of like the tables each table so it helped me create the departments table then details table salary table job details tables and create table okay country table okay so what you need to do is just copy this entire thing okay and go to your mysql workbench and paste it here okay so first you need to create the database here so i already created the employee database as you can see this is the database mine so i'm next i'm giving uh, the command use employee database and after that i'm pasting the commands so create table department so it is the same command okay so this one so create table departments then details then salary then job details and country okay so this i pasted here okay till country okay so next prompt what i give is uh, insert some 25 records in each table okay so here also it got confused it did not give 25 records in each table but it did give like you can say in total 25 records okay so it gave some records for departments for details for salary job details and country okay so it also gave some suggestions like you can modify the sql statement to insert different data into tables okay so you can try that out it also gave some sources from which you can get the code also you can say okay so i asked for uh, some more records with random values so it did give some uh, some more records so yeah so this is like the overall database you can say okay so yeah till here okay till here you need to go okay so till here you can copy okay so i have hovered here slowly you can see the each command or prompt you can say and have some records in the table so basically i did till here insert into departments details salary country departments etc okay so like there are around six or you can see on average 11 records in each table okay so make use of uh, this online platform open AI and add some records here you can add more records it's up to your interest okay so because as uh, the queries might give uh, all together some different answers to each one of us because the prompt may differ okay so that's the difference 
so once we are ready with the data you can see that oh, it has taken country like created tables like country then departments details job details salary and after inserting we can see the databases okay so first of all let's see what all data data is available in the uh, each what you can say table okay so let's uncomment this i'm sorry not this okay and then let's run this first okay so did it give the output let's check that okay it ran now we can do this where it went okay okay yeah yeah so we'll look into each database okay so select star from country so this will give us triple tap and it will run so here you can see like there are six records and one there is null record it has added so country name and country id okay and there is one more problem here uh, that is uh, when you are selecting the country it is not associated with the other tables now so we need to alter this table but i am going to do this in the next part okay so for now the country is not associated with these four tables okay so that's the thing so i am going to make use of these uh, country table in the future okay so once i do this pro project completely i will push it in the github you can make use of it as you want okay so so country has some country names and country id okay so let's look into the departments table so so department id and department name is there in case of departments so there are like six departments engineering sales marketing hr engineering is repeated twice and sales okay so these are the six departments here next is details okay so in details there are okay so the details are more here you can see employee id is there first name last name is there email is there and phone number is there okay so some phone numbers are null which i specified in the prompt so that uh, we can get the null values so here you can see yeah i asked it for the query also where it is yeah uh, insert some records with random null values so that's the thing okay so that uh, we wanted to query the null records okay so and one more thing you need to remember is uh, whenever you are inserting phone number uh, in the records i altered the table here phone number because uh, it had given the like table structure with no null values where it is phone number phone number phone number details okay and so it is taking yeah details this one here you can see that uh, the phone number is not null here so in the next line i gave alter table details modify column phone number where cat to fit find null okay so that it can take null values so after that i inserted it so before that it couldn't run so keep that in mind okay so for now we are checking each table so details has these details next is job details okay so job details will give us like the joining date like that okay so like start date end date so end date it did not uh, like it gave null because it created on 24 9 2023 so i created this recently okay then there is employee id that means this is at uh, like uh, related to details table then department id it is also related to department id okay and then start date and end date is there okay next is like salary so it should have employee id i think salary so let's look into this so yeah employee id and the respective salary is there okay so this is uh, how the table structure is of our database okay so the first query let's move ahead with like querying some information like the basic stuff okay then after that we will move ahead with some good stuff so select star from salary okay so this gave us the data details of salary now the first query is find all the employees who have a null email address or a phone number okay so what we need to do is we need to select the database details sorry the table details so here we have a email address and phone number okay so email address is basically not null it has like fulfilled the details i mean every email is fulfilled here some phone number values are null okay so we are uh, okay who have null email address or phone number it is saying so let's requ query this 
so it will return us only three uh, values because where the four number is null okay so if i give email is not null then uh, it will return us all the values okay so that's the difference so what i'm doing is select star from details where email is null that means uh, email is empty or phone number is empty so wherever phone number is empty it is returning if i give and here so it will return us some different answer so it will give, give us no records because no uh, like this is not satisfied both email is null and phone number is null since email is not null everywhere so if i give not null here i think some records will be given yeah so 789 so it runs vice versa if you use uh, or for this and and for this okay so just try it out okay so this is the first query that means what we're doing is we're finding employees who have null email address or phone number or vice versa okay so like just try it out next query is find all employees in alphabetical order by last name so what we're doing is sorting it with respect to the alphabetical order so first we need to select the details so uh, and the query is employees in alphabetical order by last name so select star from details we are ordering it by last name okay so we'll get okay so now you can see the last name is doe first then smith parker etc okay so now it will change also look at the employee keep uh like looking at employee id it will change so first employee id is now 11 and the last name is davis so it ordered according to the last name okay so you can also try to order it with respect to uh email also let's try that out now we might get some different yeah so now the email is david and you can see last uh, in last period it was 11 now it is 9 okay so this is way in this way you can like uh, like sort it based on your alphabetical order okay so you can also sort it account according to employee id but we will sort it in descending order so that because uh, if we sort in ascending order always employee id is in ascending order right so let's check that employee id desc descending okay so this is how it works so it gives us all the records in reverse order okay so this is our second query okay sorting we are done uh, like we have used order by here okay so next query is uh, find all the number of employees with and distinct employees okay so there are two queries here find the number of all employees and like distinct employees okay so we can do it in two ways first you can do is select all the employees now we want the number of employees so what we need to do is we need to use count function here so select the count star means it will give us like count of all the records and number of employees from details now the problem with this is since our uh, employee id is unique it won't affect okay so uh, it will give us all the records as 11 but what happens is sometimes the number of employees i mean uh, the employees might be repeated in the table so it will give us all the count of those employees also so at that scenario what we need to do is we need to use distinct employee okay and then we can take this okay so let's check whether everything is distinct yeah so all the employees are different in our case okay okay so based on employee id it is giving okay but if you go to first name okay it will change so there are eight now okay so let's check those names also okay so what we are doing is select count of first name as number of employees and then we are also querying first name from details and we are grouping it by first name okay so let's check that so uh, the name of employee john it has repeated twice and jane is also repeated twice so let's check whether uh, the last name also is same okay so let's check that okay it okay we, we will also give last name here let's check whether it will work yeah so uh, here you can see now the last name is also same that means these uh, i mean three employees are repeated twice okay so this query will give us wrong result in case of analysis so that you need to keep in mind okay so this employee has been repeated uh, or inserted in the table 
uh, twice these employees these three okay so other employees are unique okay so that's the thing how you need to do the analysis in case of real life okay so what we did is we uh, took the count of first name as number of employees okay and then we queried first name and also the last name and then details uh, from details and we are grouping it by first name and last name okay that means these three employees are repeated okay that's the thing so we found out the distinct employee number okay so next query is select the jobs where the job title is software engineer and start date is 2023 okay so let's check the job details table first so there is an employee id then job title department id start date and end date so what we are we have to query is software engineer so we need to query like select employee id we are selecting then job title and start date we are selecting okay from job details where job title is we are giving this software engineer and year it is the inbuilt function year and inside year we are giving the column start date so that it can extract only the year of 2023 so it will fetch the records which are in 2023 so 1 and 7 okay yeah these two records will uh like uh, the software engineer job title and uh, the year is 2023 okay that's why it fetched only uh, two records if i would have said uh, in the year 2023 it would have uh, like given us all the records i think because everybody is in 2023 yeah so so if i remove this so it will fetch us all the records yeah eight records okay that's the thing okay so let's check whether the job details has eight records yeah eight rows are reflected okay so that's the thing okay so this is how you can fetch uh, the job title and when they have started it now the okay last query no oh, there are two queries more okay now we are trying to find the average salary so we can directly use the average function here so let's check the salary table first so here you can see there are different salaries so what we are doing is we are just taking average and salary and then we are rounding it to zero decimal place okay and then as average salary we are giving the like expected query answer the name of that column and then from salary we are taking it so that's the query so 84 375 is the query so if i change the decimal place here you can see the average might change yeah so uh, okay so it is divided divided like it is divisible by the number of records here so zero zero we are getting else it would have been something like seven five eight five like that okay so this is how you can find the average salary just use the average okay so if we give the minimum salary also you can get the minimum salary so min of salary as min okay so you can also use the min and max so 60,000 in min and max is max is this okay so 1 lakh 20,000 I think yeah 120 is the max salary so this is how you can use min max and average okay so the last query of today's lecture or video is this so find all the employees who work in engineering department and have a salary of over this okay one lakh so for now i'm taking it as ten thousand, i think okay so you can see that we cannot uh, connect the department okay sorry so engineering department and okay let's check first how it is the query so we're selecting employee id job title and department id and salary from job details e so basically uh, these employee id job title and department id are present in job details and then we're joining it to salary s this okay uh, on employee id is equal to uh what it is e dot employee id and s dot employee ID. that means salary table has also employee id okay and for departments where salary is greater than this and department id is equal to one so basically we check for the department here first so here you can see that engineering department is one one and five it is having okay so we can change this query engineering department is repeated twice so one and five is also engineering department okay so this is sometimes mismatched okay so you can change the table structure okay so let's give five here okay so now it will work fine 
so let's check this so here you can see department 1 1 and 5 is there so before that it would give only the 1 that means it considered only department ID 1 as um, uh, software engineer okay uh, the job title is research scientist okay 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 now the difference here is uh, what we are qu querying is only the engineering department here okay but the job title varies in that department okay so that's the difference here okay so that is why the department uh, it has even differently okay so open is smart enough okay i thought that, that the job title will be same in every department okay so my bad so uh, it is like good enough i learned one thing here like ai is smarter but cannot beat humans though yeah so yeah so this is the query so we fetched uh, the details whatever required from job details we fetch salary from this and we looked into departments to fetch uh, like uh, to have the department id okay so the query is like a bit tricky or you can say some uh, mid level so it, it 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 will get complex as you go ahead okay so this is how you can fetch the employees who work in engineering department and have salary of over this uh, not this so for now it is this Oh, 10,000 okay so this comma should be here but that's fine so it is this okay okay so for today or for this project for beginner level the these queries are sufficient enough okay so I, I request you people like if you come up with new queries based on this data you can just comment it out so whatever queries uh, like I find interesting I will come up with those queries in this next tutorial of this project itself okay so hope you will respond in the comment section like uh, you need these queries these queries so i need around uh, six to seven queries in the comment sections for the next video if not i will come up with the different queries and i will do the job okay so hope you learned and understood something from this video okay so if you do do hit that subscribe button and uh, share this video to the people who are trying to learn uh, the sql okay so it will be very useful for them as we are making use of open air here you can definitely mention this in your resume like you you build the project from the scratch using open air okay so that's that's the thing what i was trying to do here okay so hope you enjoyed this session and hope you like this video so if you do do it the subscribe button until then take care bye, -bye.